Hello YouTube, it is me, Raina. I'm here to review Black Panther, so spoilers. Um, so I saw the movie earlier on uh, today, and I have to say, this movie is amazing. I was just in awe at every single scene of just the beauty of the movie, the beauty of the characters, uh, the beauty of the plot, and how they tied everything together. Nothing was telegraphed. Nothing was like, oh, of course that would happen. I mean, there's some things actually that happen by coincidence, but it makes sense because of how the characters are written, how the uh, movie is written, and it's believable within this movie. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed every single character. Um, you know, Michael B. Jordan was great. Everybody was great. But I really love how they touched on very serious issues that, of course, other Marvel movies or other superhero movies would not be able to touch on because Black Panther deals with different issues than other characters. You know, you have this country of Wakanda that's set in Africa, and they have vibranium, they have this really rich, um, you know, metal, this really rich mineral that they keep to themselves, and, you know, they experience colonization in Africa. We all know this, you know, slaves, you know, we were um, brought into slave, slavery from Africa, and they kept it secret, and kept everything together. And this is why I get into spoilers, but in saying that, it says so much, especially with Michael B. Jordan's character, who you see the trailers as a villain, as like, oh, he's going to be, you know, a villain that, you know, that Chicala fights, but the message that comes with that character, and not just with that character, but that conversation, is so amazing. And I kind of, um, when I've seen more of the trailers and I've heard certain, you know, reviews, is best, especially about Michael B. Jordan's character, I kind of figured his character's going to be like that. Um, basically, you know, he was, he was supposed to be in Wakanda, his uncle um, was, you know, one of the part royalty, and he, him and Chikala are cousins, but he was left in America because Chikala's father killed his father, and he grew up in America not knowing of Wakanda. He's only dreamed of it, and he's been basically filled with so much hatred, and he takes that hatred out on everything, and he eventually comes back, and it's just such a great, you know, a great character piece, um, not just only for Killmonger, but for every single character, like Denai Guerrero, who plays a co um, ah, these names, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing it, but Denai's character, who we all know from The Walking Dead, she was fantastic in this, um, I knew she would be fantastic, but just the way they utilized that character was so great, um, the same thing with Letitia Wright, who plays Sakala's sister, Shuri, she was amazing, I love that we have, you know, this girl who is so smart, and she's so young, she's so technologically advanced and making these costumes, these weapons, these, you know, everything. Um, and it's just so amazing to see, you know, black characters have different ideologies, different opinions, different level of intelligence, different ways of compromise, um, different ways of approaching certain things. We're going to see different tribes in the Wakanda, seeing how they're different. It's not all one homogenous thing. It's all different. And it's, it's just so much I can say. It's like I could sit here for an hour just talking about it. And it's so relatable because, you know, if you ever knows, I am black. And the conversations that we have this movie, especially about the diaspora and about us being taken away from our country and then not knowing where we come from and knowing what tribe we come from and not knowing, you know, and vice versa of, you know, Africans not knowing about us. And it's just such a you know, a great, I did not expect this movie to bring us this conversation, to be honest, but the way they've characterized, especially, you know, Michael B. Jordan's character, and how they did that, you kind of, I kind of agree with them, even though the way he was doing it was really extreme, but he was right, you know, where was Wakanda when the civil rights movement happened, where was Wakanda when this happened, you know, and eventually, towards the end of the movie, Chikala does take his advice, but he does it with a different approach, and Eventually, yes, Wakanda is going to be well known and open and sharing vibranium and sharing its technology with the world. But Chikala's going to take lead in that and do it in a diplomatic way and not in the very forceful and vengeful and violent way that Eric was doing. Even though, to me, he was right, the way he went about it wasn't the right way. And just that last line that he says to Chikala when Chikala's like, you know, we can heal you, you know, we can, you know, try to make this work, and he says, you know, something about his ancestors basically jumping off the ship into the water, 
and not being chained. He would rather die than have that happen. Like, that was deep. Like, I was like, oh, I was nice. But that really, I was like, oh, wow. That really set into my set into my soul. I'm pretty sure I jacked up that line. But some, you know, it's what his last words were. And it's just like, wow. But the messages, I mean, there's a lot of messages in this movie that I, I'm not going to be able to cover. But that was just one of them. And I just really love that you can tell it's not only black people in front of the camera, but it's black people behind the camera. They could not talk about these topics without black people being there, without African American, without that um, that other opinion there. It doesn't happen. And when you give people the chance to tell their story, you get a different perspective of different stories. And that's what I love about this, about this uh, movie. But overall, I enjoyed it. It was um, great action of female characters. Of course, the drama module was badass. Like, I, I was shook every single time they were on screen, especially Deny. Um, it's just so much about this movie that can just go on forever for us. So go see it. If you have not seen it, please take your children. Take everybody. Um, yeah, so bye, YouTube.